So, tomorrow's voting day, and you're going to be voting for a, a new MP in South Thanet, which uh, I sincerely hope's not going to be Nigel Farage and his politics of, of division. Uh, you'll also have a chance as well to vote for councillors for Thanet District Council and for Ramsgate Town Council. Uh, and these votes are going to give you a chance to influence how local affairs in Thanet are going to be managed for the next four years. Now the Green Party is going to be set standing seven candidates in the Ramsgate area uh, for the District Council and the Town Council. First we have Tim Spencer who's standing in Cliffsend and Pegwell Ward. Then we have Kevin Pressland and Mike White who are standing in Central Harbour Ward. Uh, then Trisha Hartley and Tony Uden, who are standing in Sir Moses Montefiore Ward. Uh, and last but not least, we have Aaron Oldale and myself, who are standing in the Eastcliff Ward. Now, all of us are committed as Green Party councillors to change the district and town council for the better. We're going to be campaigning to end the secrecy uh, and the decision-making behind closed doors, which have been a, a sad feature of uh, life at Thanet Council for, for far too many years. We're going to be campaigning to end the undemocratic cabinet system, where a small, unaccountable group of political bosses from the same party make virtually 95% of the decisions taken by the council. We're also going to challenge, expose and hold to account incompetent decision making and maladministration. Uh, and we're also going to be fighting to introduce a, a more democratic system of public affairs in Ramsgate and in Thanet. Uh, because what we want to do is make sure that local people uh, are properly and fully consulted on all the important uh, decisions that are made by the Town Council and by the District Council. Uh, we want full engagement with local people so that they know what's going on, no secrets have been held back and their opinions are looked for and taken into account. Uh, if we're elected we're also going to hold regular walkabouts around uh, Ramsgate to identify problems uh, and try to resolve them and we're going to be inviting the public to these walkabouts so we want to be open and transparent there. We're going to set up uh, a Facebook page uh, and a Twitter account so that we can keep local residents up to date with all the things that we're doing and making it much easier for you to contact us if you've got any problems or issues you want to raise with us. Unlike all the previous councillors from the Labour administration and the Conservative administration before that, we're going to be accountable to the voters. We're going to put your interests first rather than party policies and political interests. And we don't have a party whip. That makes us much more accountable to local people. But it's not just about accountability and democracy. Green Party councillors in Ramsgate and in Thanet want to focus our energies on regeneration to create more jobs and business opportunities for local people. We believe that de developing and expanding tourism around the seafront in Ramsgate is going to be critical to the economic success of the town. So we really want to be working hard around the seafront, looking at ideas and developing plans. Uh, we also want to be working closely with the owners of Discovery Park and of the Manston Airport site. And we want to engage with them and talk with them about their plans for opening business parks in these areas and developing their existing business parks to create a lot more jobs and bring in much more investment to the local area. And, and of course, as well, we want to be developing strong links with, with, uh, with the local schools and, and also with the uh, East Kent College so that our children and young people have got the access to the best training available, which is going to give them a much better chance to, to get jobs. Uh, and also, if elected, uh, as councillors, we're going to be 
tackling the housing crisis in Thanet, especially the desperate shortage of of social housing, council housing and housing association housing for those people who don't have the money to be able to buy their own, own property. Uh, and of course we'll be doing all we can to protect Thanet's environment. We wouldn't be Green Party councillors if we weren't doing that anyway. So tomorrow if you really want proper change at the council, serious change, then vote for the Green Party. We stand for honesty and openness in public affairs. We stand for investment, regeneration, jobs and training. And we also want decent homes for everyone. Uh, and we want an environment that's not going to be damaged by pollution and bad developments in the area. Uh, I say it's time for a change. A change is long overdue in Ramsgate and on Thanet Council. And that means it's time for Green Party councillors to be elected because we can and we will make a difference. Now, if you live outside of Ramsgate, you still do have the chance to vote Green. Uh, Robin Vaughan Lyons is standing in the Salmonston Ward. Andy Jefferson is standing in Cliftonville West. And Natasha Ransom is standing in Thanet Villages. Louise Oldfield and Ed Target are standing together in Margate Central. So you've got lots of opportunities to vote for Green Party councillors and you've got a massive opportunity uh, to, to actually make a change at Thanet District Council and vote for people who are really going to shake up Thanet Council. And that's long overdue. Thanks.